This is the first year seven lesson in the unit introduction to computer hardware. What we'll have a look at over the next few minutes is try to understand what a computer is and how they come in different forms. And also the under understand the concept of computers receiving instructions, processing instructions and producing outputs. Now, in terms of what a computer is, here's a couple of definitions that we need to understand. So computers are generally considered programmable machines. Um, another way of looking at it is that they are electronic devices which take in data, they process the data and then produce outputs as a result. So they take in an input, they process these inputs and they produce some sort of output. So if you look at the following devices, which of these do we think might be a computer? Is a calculator a computer? Is a washing machine a computer? Is a toaster a computer? Let's have a little think. Well, let's go and have a look at a calculator to begin with and let's try to work out whether this is a computer based on the definitions that we learnt earlier. Now is this a programmable machine? Well yes of course it is. It is a machine that we can program to do different calculations. Is it an electronic device which takes in data, takes in commands, processes them and then produces a result? Well yes it does. We tap buttons to put different numbers and different operators into the device. The computer will then uh, make decisions based on those numbers and those operators and then produce some outputs. So if we were to really drill down to work out what the input would be, well buttons being pressed would input numbers into the system. The process would be the calculations done on those numbers that are entered and the output would be the result of the calculation displayed on the screen. So yes, we can consider a calculator as being a computer. Okay, let's have a look at a washing machine. Again, looking at those definitions, is this a programmable machine? Well, yes it is. We can program this machine to do different cycles, to perhaps wash uh, clothes for a certain amount of time and to have the drum spin at a certain speed. Is it an electronic device which takes in commands, processes them to produce outputs? Yes it is, it's certainly electronic and we can give it different commands and the computer um, in the device will process those commands, will make decisions based on them and produce different results. Again, drilling down into exactly what those inputs, processes and outputs might be, let's have a look at them. Now one common misconception is the idea that an input is dirty washing and an output would be clean washing. When we're talking about whether this device um, can be considered a computer, we need to be thinking a little bit more technically. So in terms of the inputs to a washing machine, buttons being pressed to input the different settings and the different programs, they would be the inputs. The process would be the decisions being made as to when to add water, maybe when the spin should be performed and when the, perhaps the temperature should be changed to be warmer or cooler. And the outputs on a technical level would be valves opening and closing to allow water in and out, the heater being turned on and off, the motors being turned on and off. So yes, you could, um, by definition, consider um, a washing machine as a computer. It certainly has a computer on board. Okay, what about a toaster? This is a strange one. Again, common misconception would be that bread goes in as the input and toast comes out as the output. But we need to be technical when we're, we're looking um, to decide whether a toaster could be considered as having perhaps a computer on board or being a computer itself. Okay, is this a programmable machine? Well, yes, we can certainly spin dials um, to set the toaster to uh, heat the toast for set amount of time. Is it an electronic device which takes in data, processes it, and then outputs results? Well, yes, it's definitely electronic, um, or certainly modern com um, toasters are, and you can press different buttons, um, give it commands as to how long to toast for, the computer on board will make decisions based on those inputs and then will produce different outputs, for example, holding the tray down for um, a longer period of time or a shorter period of time, or perhaps um, changing the amount of heat that the heating elements gives out. 
So again, looking at the inputs, processes and outputs at a technical level, the inputs will be buttons being pressed to input the settings and the programs. The process will be the decisions being made as to how long the tray should be held down for and how long the heater should be on for. And the output would be the heater being switched on and off and the tray being released. So yes, in a way, you can consider a toaster as being a computer. It certainly has um, a computer on board um, based on those uh, definitions for a computer. Now, if you look at all of these, they actually all follow the definitions of a computational device. They are all programmable machines and they're all electronic devices which take in data, they process them and they produce different results. So hopefully now we have a better understanding of what a computer is. Let's now take a look at inputs and output devices that we might find on a, a normal desktop computer. So how is data put into a computer? So how is it input into a computer? And how is it uh, the information then given back to the user in the form of an output? So modern day computers, uh, desktop computers, uh, will use uh, inputs and output devices in order to send information in so that we can control the computer and to present information out so that we can get results from our computer. And other devices such as tablets, and mobile phones have similar things um, to a degree which are integrated into the computing device. But let's focus on these sorts of devices that we might have on a desktop computer. So input devices of a PC. You could have a games controller where you're sending directional data um, to a computer game. You could have a mouse where you're trying to um, send information or send data into uh, the computer send instructions into the computer where you might want to open a program by double clicking an icon um, or you might have a microphone where you are sending um, data sound data into a computer for processing so all of these input devices they all send data or instructions into a computer now in terms of output devices of a PC you could have a monitor where we are presenting uh, visual information um, as an output from the computer to the user. A printer will again output information in the form of uh, printed uh, paper. Um, with speakers we have information in the form of sound which uh, is presented to the user. So in output devices they all receive information from the computer and then present it to the user. So again, hopefully we now have a little bit more understanding of not only what a computer is, but also how important input devices and output devices are so that we can make use of computers. We can control users, uh, computers, sorry, and get information back out of a computer. Now, finally, if we have a look at the input and output devices of a toaster, we did touch on this earlier. Now, input devices of a toaster, obviously they send data and instructions to the toaster's computer and output devices of a toaster will all receive information from the toaster's, toaster's computer. So in terms of the input devices of a toaster, it will be the buttons being pressed, the dials being turned to send those instructions to the toaster's computer and the output devices would be the catch of the tray being released so that the toast pops up and the heating element uh, being turned on or being turned off at various moments 